Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to Yavapai College Rough Rider Basketball. Tonight from Wall Raven Gymnasium on the campus of Yavapai College, it's the Yavapai College Rough Riders facing the Apaches of Cochise College. My name is John Williams. I'll be here to set to bring you all the action tonight from a very noisy Wall Raven Gymnasium. And the playoffs are in the air, folks. This game has a lot of playoff implications. All the playoffs are set, uh, playoff seedings are set, that is, except for the sixth and final spot. And right now, your hometown Rough Riders have the sixth and final spot uh, in hand, provided they can win one of their next two games. Tonight's game, of course, against Cochise, who is in the lower half of the bracket in the ACCAC standings. They come in with a record overall of 7-21, and 21, and they are 4-16 and 16 in the conference. Yavapai has an even 500 record at 10-10 and 10 in the conference and 14-14 14 and 14 overall. It should be a good game tonight. We hope you'll stay with us. Uh, Yavapai needs to win, as we said, one of their next two games, and they would like to win it tonight and wrap it up. Uh, the playoff spot, that is, and going into next week. The uh, Pima Community College team who is chasing them for that sixth and final spot is at South Mountain tonight, a team who is also in the lower half of the bracket. So this game is of vital interest for the Riders. Riders come in uh, having won their last meeting with the Apaches, 94-91, to back on January 15th. So it should be a good one. One change in the starting lineup tonight, and we'll tell you about that in just a few moments. All the play-by-play -play action, starting lineups coming your way. Stay with us. Should be a good one. You're watching Yavapai College Rough Rider Basketball on the Access Channel, Prescott Community Access Channel. <laughs> Everybody and welcome to Yavapai College Rough Rider Basketball. John Williams with you from a very noisy Wall Raven Gymnasium on the campus of Yavapai College for tonight's game between the Rough Riders of Yavapai and the visiting Cochise Apaches. Cochise, like we said, comes in with a record of 4-16 and 16 in the conference and 7-21 and 21 overall, and that's good for 11th place out of the 12-team field. Yavapai, on the, hand, on the other hand, uh, evened up their record the other night down in Scottsdale with an impressive 113-93 to win over the Artichokes. And that puts them now at 10-10 and in the conference and 14-14 and overall. And a two-game lead over Pima for the final playoff spot in the ACCAC. For the starting lineups now for Cochise Community College, starting off, with Billy Barkwin, a six-foot freshman, Mark Soto, a six-foot-six six sophomore, John Branch, a five-foot-ten freshman, John Gomez, a six-foot-two freshman, and Troy Torbert, a six-five sophomore. The head coach of the Coaches Apaches is Ken Stoic, and his assistant coach is Steve Lane. And they are announcing now the starting lineups four coaches here in the uh, in the arena the standings in the ACCAC Northland Pioneer and Phoenix are 1-2 Northland coming in at 18 and 2 and Phoenix at 17 and 3 now the starting lineups for your hometown Yellow Pie Rough Riders at one guard will be Tootie Green a 6'5 175 freshman at the other guard, Brett Marchese, a 6'1", 175 sophomore. At a third guard, Mike McGee, a 6'4", 175 freshman, who in his last outing pumped in 35 points for the Riders, leading their victory over Scottsdale. One of the two forwards on the floor tonight, guard Bra Garth Braxton, a 6'3", 195 freshman. And the other forward, and the, and the change in the starting lineup tonight will be Sebastian Payton, a 6'6", 180 sophomore, and he's starting in place of Jamar Redding, who is hobbled with an ankle injury, but he will see some action tonight. The head coach is, of course, Dolph Carroll in his fifth season, and the assistant is Brad Clifford.
getting ready for action here. Going back to the standings now, Yavapai, if they do wrap up that final playoff spot, and they would like to do that tonight considering their Friday night game will be against uh, none other than Pima College, and they don't want it to come down to the final game uh, for the simple fact that Pima won their first outing between the two teams, and if Pima happened to come up here and steal a victory, they would get that sixth and final playoff spot due to the head-to-head -head tiebreaker, and that is head-to-head uh, -head matchups. So a big win tonight, a big game tonight, I should say, for the Riders. They need to put it away tonight and get it out of the way. So we got the starters on the floor. We're about ready to tip this one off. Other games tonight in the ACCAC. Scottsdale is at Eastern Arizona. Phoenix and Northland match up at Holbrook, and that's going to be to decide the championship in the ACCAC. Arizona Western is at Central. Glendale is at Mesa, and Pima is down at South Mountain. And we're underway, and the tip is controlled by Cochise. Here's a shot on the way by number 44. Troy Tolbert, no good. Offensive rebound, a three-pointer on the way. Off the back iron, no good. Coach East controlling the offensive boards early, and we got an early foul. Foul is going to be on number three, Mark Soto. And that was an offensive foul, of course, and Yavapai gets the ball coming back the other way. Whistle and a traveling violation on Sebastian Payton. So turn it right back over to Coach East underneath their own basket. Just underway, not even 30 seconds in, no score as of yet. Coach E's looking to inbound. They do, and here's a, an errant pass thrown out front, snatched up by McGee. He throws a wild shot off the front of the rim, no good. Offensive rebound by Marchese. Back to Payton, he throws it up off the rim, no good. And a rebound for Coach E's, coming back the other way. Here's a shot up and off the backboard, no good. Rebound by Payton. Little sluggish in the first minute of the uh, of the game for both teams. Marchi's out on the right wing. Over in the corner to Payton. Yavapai on the perimeter. Here's Tootie Green inside, dishes off, tries to dish off to Payton, who does control it. Marchi's going to throw up a three, and he's going to get a three. Riders on the board, three nothing. There's an alley up play underneath number 44. Troy Tolbert slams it down, and it's 3 2 in favor of the Riders. Back the other way. Braxton in the lane, throws up a little three footer, and it goes. Braxton's first two of the ball game, 5 to 2 in favor of the Riders. Three on the way, good. Number 34, John Gomez with the three, and that ties the game at five. Here's a three coming back the other way off the side of the rim. No good by Tootie Green. One shot and out for the Riders. Three point on the way again by number three off the back iron. Mark Soto up, no good. Rebound yanked down in the corner by Brett Marchese. Riders running back the other direction. Here's a pass inside by McGee, knocked away and stolen. Contact underneath, no foul. Ball stripped, retained by the Apaches. Here's a three in the corner, number 10, nails it. Billy Barkwin with his first three of the ball game and it's 8-5 in favor of the Apaches. Here's a pass off the hands of McGee, out of bounds. Big game for the Riders tonight. Want to put this one away early. Here's a, a pass knocked out of bounds by McGee. Cochise will retain possession. Big game tonight. They don't want it to come down to Friday night. They want to have this thing sewed up before that. Braxton tried to draw a charge. No whistle. Underneath number 44. Misses the, misses the dunk. Gets his own rebound. Scramble in the corner. Troy Torber tried to slam it down, came down with the ball not going through the hole, and he came down with a handful of rim as well. Cochise inbounds, 30 seconds on the shot clock. Yeah. 
John Branch with the ball, dribbling outside, being guarded by McGee. Here's a three-point attempt on the way off the side, no good. Lots of threes early going up for both teams. So far, Cochise has made at least one more than the Riders have. 8-5 in favor of Cochise. Here's another three, good! Brett Marchese with his second three of the ball game, 8-8 eight eight now. Three and a half minutes into this one. Here's a pass on the left wing, a shot on the way, no good. Offensive rebound once again, put back up, no good by number 34. That's John Gomez and rebounded by the Riders. Pressure in the backcourt by Billy Barquin on McGee. A little bit of height uh, disadvantage for Barquin on that matchup. Here's a shot from the left corner by Tootie Green off, no good. Rebound to Barquin. Driving the lane, shot up from 10, around and out, no good, won't go, tough break. John Branch's shot would not fall. Riders back the other direction, Mike McGee. He's gonna shoot a three. He's gonna get a three. Mike McGee, hopefully he'll have another big night tonight for the Riders. He had 35 the other night down at Scottsdale. Between he and Tootie Green, they combined for 60 points in the win. 11-8, Riders back out by three. Here's a three-pointer again on the way. Off the front of the iron, no good. Tootie Green with the rebound. Dribbling length of the court. He goes all the way, tries to dish off. Out of bounds, retained possession for the Riders. Official waiting for somebody to throw it in. And Garth Braxton says, I'll volunteer. He takes the ball, dishes it in. Marchese with another three. And he's going to miss this one. We got a whistle underneath. And I believe we're going to have a foul called. Yep. Foul on Braxton, his first first team foul. Dribbling back the other direction. Here's number three, Mark Soto. He dishes off to 44. Uh, Troy Torbert goes up no good, but there's a foul. Foul on Sebastian Payton, that's his first, second team foul. Going to the line will be number 44, Troy Torbert, and he's going to shoot two. Troy Torbert. Shoot two. Yeah, he said he's going to get first from out there. He's a couple of foul. Yeah, but then I can't get rebounds during the game. Yeah. First one on the way by Torbert it is down. Jamar Redding going to see his first action of the night tonight. In for Mike McGee. He's hobbled with... Uh, uh, Redding, that is, is hobbled with a, a bad ankle that he suffered in practice. But he's good to go, so he's in there. Second free throw is on the way and also good. Braxton tries to pass it underneath. An attempted alley-oop was on the way, but... It was knocked away. Cochise coming back the other direction. Here's a dish in the lane. Off the glass. No good. And the ball is yanked down by Sebastian Payton. And it looks like he got a finger in the eye or something. He's uh, wiping his forehead. Back the other direction. Shot put up by the Riders. No good. But we do have a foul on the play. Foul is going to be on number 44, Troy Torbert. That's his first Second team foul, Garth, Garth Braxton will go to the line to shoot two. 14.39 to go, first half, 11-10 in favor of the Riders. Free throw on the way and good. Second free throw is off, run of the rim, no good. Rebound by Jamar Redding. So the Riders retain possession. Here's a three-pointer on the way by Peyton. Good! Sebastian Peyton with a tray, 15-10 in favor of the Riders. And here's a steal coming back the other way. Tootie Green dishes back out to Peyton, looks for three, doesn't take it inside, almost up and down. 
by Braxton. He gets it out to uh, to Jamar over to Marchese inside the green lane up and in. Riders on a seven nothing run right now. Here's a three pointer by Tor, or make that a two pointer by Torbert. No good. We're gonna have a a foul or a jump ball. Foul is on Garth Braxton. It appeared it could have been a jump ball, but they uh, elected to call a foul instead. That foul on Braxton's his second. Second, uh, make that third team foul for the Riders. Coach, he's inbounds the ball. Here's a pass up underneath. Inadvertent pass knocked up off the backboard. Comes down in possession of the Riders, but what are they going to call here? Coach Hees is going to retain possession. Inbounding is David Do uh, Doan in the, in the ball game. Here's a ball knocked off the hands of McGee and out of bounds. David Doan is a 6'4 freshman in the ball game for Coach Hees. He gets it in. Number 30 throws it off the back of the rim. That is Carl Br uh, Bruss, who's also in the game, a 6'6 freshman. And that won't go, and the Riders bring, come back the other way. McGee in the corner, being guarded by Torbert. Now they switch off. Here's a shovel pass in the corner, way back out to cross court. Redding in the lane, tries to go up. He dishes off for the jam! Tootie Green with the jam. That's four points for Tootie on the night. 19 to 10. Riders by nine. Shot on the way. No good. Volleyballed around. Grabbed down by Cochise again. Here's a steal. Marchese with the ball underneath the Tootie Green. Lay it up and in. 21 10. Riders by 11. Timeout, Cochise. 12.50 to go, first half. Yavapai 21, Cochise 10. You're watching exciting Rough Rider basketball on the Access Channel. Prescott Community Access Channel 13. <laughs> Running down the standings in the ACCAC, Northland Pioneer Eagles lead the way at 18 and two and 25 and three overall. That's going into tonight now. Phoenix College comes in second, one game behind at 17 and three and 24 and four. And those two teams are matching up tonight in Holbrook. And uh, I'm not sure who won the first game between the two teams, but uh, that one could very well decide tonight the uh, title in the ACCAC. I'm sure if Northland wins the ball game, that's gonna wrap it up. Of course, those two teams have also secured the top two seeds in the playoffs. Mesa comes in ranked third at 15 and five and 17 and 11 overall. Central Arizona is 14 and 6th in 4th place, 17 and 8 overall. Arizona Western, the Matadors at 13 and 7 and 21 and 7. Yavapai in the number 6 spot right now, 10 and 10 and 14 and 14. And Pima looking two games behind at 8 and 12 and 11 and 15 overall. So right now, if the playoffs started today, Yavapai would be down at Mesa Community to play the Thunderbirds next Tuesday night. And the winner of that game gets to meet the winner of Northland Pioneer in Phoenix. Back to action now. Coach Hees with the ball down 21 to 10. John Williams bringing you all the action from Wall Raven Gymnasium. Riders glad to be back at home after a three game road trip. Here's a shot by number 40. Rebound offensively. Same shot, Torbert. And he gets this one to go. Make that day, David Doan. David Doan comes in with six points for the Apaches. And coming back the other direction, we've got a foul. Foul is on John Branch. That's his first third team foul. Riders are inbound the ball underneath their own bucket. Comes into Marchese. Green's going to throw up a three. Off the side of the rim, no good. Rebound by Doan. Coach, he's not intent so far to run uh, overly. Uh, they do uh, hustle it up, but uh, they don't really like to run and gun as far as we've seen so far. We've got an object 
on the floor on the other side of the court. And the referees are going to call a stop play now. It looks like a paper airplane came out of the stands on the other side of the court. You're always going to have some, uh, some fans in the stands that, to get a little overzealous and uh, try to interfere with things. So Cochise will inbound the ball on the side, and they do. 19 seconds on the shot clock. Here's Doan out at the three-point line. He dishes off. D shot clock down to nine. Here's a three-pointer on the way. Off the top of the glass, and they're going to call that one out of bounds. It came down off the top of the backboard and almost went through, but it wouldn't have counted. John Branch threw up that three that didn't go. 21-12, 11-42 to go in the first half. Riders by nine. Here's McGee with a pass underneath. Laid up and off the rim. No good by Tootie Green. Rebound Apaches. One of the easier buckets tonight. 34 comes back with a layup. That's John Gomez. Five points for Gomez now in the game. So it says Wendell Bitsilly, my crack statistician. Mike McGee has five now in the ball game as well. 23-14. Riders maintain that nine-point lead. And here's contact on the other end. And we're going to have a foul. Foul is on number three, Jamar Redding, his first, fourth team foul. Don will inbound the ball for the Apaches. He does just that. Barkwin with the ball being guarded by his opposite number, Marchese. Here's a three-pointer on the way, off the side, no good by uh, Matthew Hickman in the ball game. He's a 6'4 freshman. So these teams really shooting the threes tonight in the early going. Here's Peyton the other direction. Passes it off to, to Marchese. Here's a three by McGee, off the back, no good. Rebound taken down by Matthew Hickman. Over to Barkwin. Barkwin drives the lane. He Passes it off, scramble, hitting the floor on the opposite side over there is Jamar Redding. Ball out of bounds. Cochise will retain possession. Into Barkwin. Shot clock down to 13. Hickman looking to pass it inside. Barkwin with the ball on the left circle. He throws it inside. Shot clock at five, at four. They're going to have to do something quick. Barkwin with a long three. Oh, that air ball. Turnover. Shot clock violation. Inbound the ball for the Riders. Good defense that time. The uh, Apaches tried to get inside, and they could not do it. Barkwin settling for a, 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 a long-distance three that came up short, way short. Peyton the other direction. Into green, uh, shuffle step. Out to Marchese. Jason Sample in the ball game now for the Riders. And we've got steps. Traveling call on Marchese. Nine thirty-nine to go first half, 23-14. Riders by nine. Neither team playing up to their capability, but so far Yavapai playing the better ball game of the two. Here's John Branch over to Barquin. Back to Branch down in the corner. He goes up, but there's going to be contact and a foul. Fouls on number 40, Michael McGee. His first. 15 foul. Foul is on Mike McGee. That is his first and 15 foul, as you heard Chris Gallagher, the uh, the uh, PA announcer here at Wall Raven, and he does a pretty good job. John Branch on the line. He's going to shoot two. First one off the front of the rim and no good. Coach Hees comes in with the highest free throw percentage in the league, averaging 75% from the line. Missed them both that time. Here's Tootie Green going back the other direction. More, oh, another whistle and a, and a foul called. 
foul was on number 10, Billy Barkwin. That is going to be his first. Green to the line to shoot two. First free throw by Tootie is up and good. Tootie's a 70% free throw shooter on the season. Second one was uh, also up and good. 25-14, Riders by 11. Tootie's got eight points on the game so far for the Riders. As a team, Yavapai shoots 67% from the free throw stripe. Mark Soto caught in the corner, dishes it back out. Shot clock at 12. Here's a three-pointer on the way. It's going to be off the rim, no good. Volleyballed up, offensive rebound by number 32. He throws it up, no good. That's John Branch. Scramble underneath, and we got a whistle and another foul. Yavapai is going to have to work on the defensive board. So far, Coach Hees is getting the best advantage on the offensive glass. Foul is on 24, Jason Sample. That's his first six-team foul. Going to the line for Coach Hees will be Troy Torbert shooting two. Hope you're enjoying the action tonight from Wall Raven Gymnasium. I want to remind you the Riders finish out their regular season uh, Friday night against Pima Community in what could be the biggest game of the season. And uh, barring a win or a loss, a win by the Riders tonight or a loss by Pima, that playoff spot will still be up for grabs on Friday night. Of course, if Yavapai wins, they, they are in. Both free throws good, 25-16. Marchese back the other direction with a little seven-footer from the right side, and it goes. Eight points for Brett on the night. 27-16, Riders back by 11. Here's a dish inside. Losing control of the ball underneath and regaining his 34, John Gomez. He throws it up. No good. Offensive rebound is tipped back up and in. Gomez with seven on the game, 27-18. Braxton in the lane. Dishes off to Sample. Tootie lines up the, the three-pointer, doesn't take it. Yellow pie passing around the perimeter. Marchese with the ball. Calls out a play. Shot clock at 13. Inside, in the lane to Braxton. He throws up a little five-footer good. Under eight minutes to go first half, 29-18. Five now for Braxton. Coachy's back the other way. Here's a shot by Torber. Won't go. Rebound offensively by John Branch, and that will go. Cross-court pass. Here's a three on the way. Good. Jason Sample, three-pointer. That's his first three of tonight. He had three the other night against Scottsdale. Jason can light up the three. Here's a layup attempt off the side of the rim, no good. Riders running back the other way. Layup by March, he's is good. And just like that, Riders out by 14, 34-20. 10 for Brett Marchies. He has his number in the first half. Here's a driving layup that goes. John Gomez with the layup. Coach, he's having a tough time with defense. Here's a spinning dish off by Tootie Green. But we've got to have traveling call on the play. Look away for a second and you miss something, I tell you. Timeout on the floor and by the Riders. 6.42 to go, first half. 34-22 in favor of the Riders. You're watching Yavapai College Rough Rider Basketball on the Access Channel. Prescott Community Access Channel 13. Just a reminder to be back here next Tuesday night, March 1st, for the Lady Riders. We'll take on the Lady Apaches from Cochise College right here at Wall Ray Gym for the first round. Don Reitz, internationally known ceramic artist, will appear at the Yavapai College Performance Hall in Prescott Friday, March the 4th at 7 in the evening. Step back into the excitement and daring drama of the 60s when creativity was busting loose and artistic expression knew no bounds. 
Reitz will create live on stage huge monumental pieces of artwork. You'll be in awe as Reitz takes his creative talents, normally reserved for the privacy of his studio, to the performance hall stage. This is the first time in Arizona that a stage performance has been attempted by a ceramic artist. A demonstration and workshop will be held from 9 a.m. to noon in the ceramic classroom on the Prescott campus. Please reserve your place in advance by calling Barb at 776-2035. Call Ed Branson at 776-2038 for information. The event is sponsored by the Yavapai College Art Department and funded by Yavapai College Campus Life. Back to action. Riders holding on to a 12-point lead, 34-22. Cochise with possession. Mark Soto looking for somebody to dish off into in the lane. He finds John Gomez. We've got a whistle and a foul. Fouls on Jason Sample. That's going to be his second. In the bonus now, Cochise. Wait a minute. That's that's the seventh team foul now. I thought they would be at the line. The referee was standing underneath the basket attempting to uh, give the ball to throw it in. But uh, they're going to be shooting two from the, uh, or shooting one and one, that is, from the charity stripe. Free throw around and no good. Rebounded in the corner by Braxton. He dishes back to McGee. A little bit of pressure now in the backcourt put on by the Apaches. Yavapai breaks it. Here's a shot in the corner by Sample. No good. Attempted to be laid up by Braxton. It won't go, but Marchi snags the offensive board. McGee being guarded by Barquin. He looks three, doesn't take it into Braxton. Pump fake, he falls down, and what are we going to have? Whistle, and should be a foul called, and there is. Foul is on 34, John Gomez. That's his first. 15 foul now, non-shooting. Sometimes you never know from one whistle to the next whether you're going to have a turnover, a steal, an out-of-bounds play, or a, or a foul. Riders with the ball. Braxton over to Sample on the right wing. Back to Marchese. Here's a three on the way. Off the side, no good. Another whistle. We're going to have a foul on the play underneath. Jason Sample with the offensive, full, uh, offensive foul. That's his third foul for Sample. And he's going to come out, and Jamar Redding is going to come back into the ball game. So it's Redding, Green, Marchese, McGee, and looking for the fifth guy on the floor here. Braxton. Braxton. He was being screened from me over there. Coming into the ball game, number 44. Torbert's back in, and number 10, Billy Barkwin, goes out. Second free throw on the way, and that's good. 34-24, riders by 10. 5.36 to go, first half. Backcourt pressure now being applied. Here's a near steal. Retained by Redding. He's going to drive the lane. Dishes off underneath. Mike McGee lays it up and in. Seven points for McGee. 36-24, riders by 12. Sometimes when you put on backcourt pressure, you come up with the steal, and sometimes you do not. Here's a shot up, no good. Foul on number three, Jamar Redding. That's his second. In the bonus, that'll be the ninth team foul on the Riders. Going to the line will be John Gomez. Shot on the way, no good. Rebounded in the corner by Marchese. Backcourt pressure, got to get it over, they do. Braxton drives the lane, lays it up from three, around good, count and he's fouled. Braxton with the underhand layup, and it goes, and he's fouled on the play by Troy Torbert. That's his second foul. Only the sixth team foul on the Apaches. Yavapai looking to extend now their lead to 15.
And they do. Eight points in the game now for Braxton. He's a 71% free throw shooter. Number 44, Troy Torbert puts in the basket for the Apaches. 39-26, Riders by 13. Inbounded to Braxton. He gets it over to Redding. Redding drives the lane. Behind the back, dish off to McGee, lay it up and in. Cochise putting on the press, but they're not seeming to have much success with it tonight. Yellow Pies breaking it easily and uh, causing some easy layups on the other end. Shot up underneath by David Doan, and we've got an offensive foul call. We've got a timeout on the floor. 4.31 to go, first half. Riders 41, Cochise 26. You're watching Rep Rider Basketball on the Access Channel. Prescott Community Access Channel 13. The Lady Riders were also in action tonight and uh, they won again what's new. 77-55 was the final score. Their record now goes to 17-2 in the conference, and they are a whopping 26-3 overall. And that's going to put them one game behind Central Arizona. Uh, Central Arizona tonight for the ladies is hosting Mesa. And Central and Yavapai have, have already claimed playoff spots for the ladies, as well as Scottsdale, Pima, and Cochise. So 19, uh, Central was 19-0 going into tonight's action and 26-2 overall for the ladies of Central Arizona. Yavapai now 17-2 and 26-3. And also, before I forget, I want to give credit to my, uh, to my help people tonight. On camera is Ingram Johnson. Stats people are Mike Day and Jimmy Joyner and Wendell Bitsilly, and they're doing a fantastic job for me, and I want to make sure that they get some credit that's so richly deserved. Coming back the other way, we got a layup attempt, no good, but a foul on the play. Foul on David Doan, that's his second. Eighth team foul. Going to the line will be Brett Marchese. Brett on the season is a 60% free throw shooter, almost 61%, coming in at 60.8% on the season. First free throw on the way, and it goes. Second free throw is also good. Into the ball game, number 30, Carl Bruss. He's a 6'6 freshman, and going out was was number 40, David Doan. That's the 12th point in the ball game for Brett Marchese. 43-26. Riders now opening up a 17 point lead. First game of the season between these two down in Douglas. Cochise almost pulled it out. You have it by one the game, 94 to 91. Here's a shuffle in the lane by uh, John Branch. He almost loses control, finally dishes it off to uh, Troy Torbert. Here's a shot up on the side by Branch, no good. And the rebound down by Darren Gagnon, who's in the ball game now for Yavapai. Over to McGee. McGee stops in the lane. Over to Redding. He's going to throw it up off the side of the rim, no good. And we're going to have an over the, well, it's just going to be possession now to Cochise. It looked like uh, Braxton, or make that uh, Sebastian Payton, they did call a foul. I thought they would. Sebastian Payton was over the back on the rebound there uh, on that play. And that's now the 10th team foul. Second personal on Sebastian. So going to the line will be Troy Torberg. Darren Gagnon is a 6'8", 205 freshman forward out of Bradshaw Mountain High School right here at Prescott Valley. 
Free throw on the way is up and good. As we said earlier, Coach Ease is leading the conference in free throw percentage at 75%. Yavapai comes in at 67%. Second one on the way. It's around and out, no good. Tapped up in the air and pulled down by McGee. Riders running. Now they slow it up. Here's Peyton. To Marchese, back to Peyton, to McGee. Looking inside. Here's Tootie Green with a driving layup, and he gets it. 10 for Tootie Green, 45-27, Riders by 18. Here's Barkwin driving the right side. He dishes off. Shot on the way, no good by Gomez. Yanked down by the Riders. Here's a long baseball pass. Jamar Redding's going to get the easy layup. Beautiful pass. Down by Sebastian Payton. Found his man. One step and he was home. 47-27. Riders by 20. Shot on the way by Matthew Hickman. Won't go, but we got a foul. Fouls on three. Jamar Redding, that is his. That's his third. Hickman goes to the line, and because he was shooting a three-pointer and was fouled on the attempt, he gets three free throws. 2.44 to go. First half. Riders by 20. First one's up and in. If the Riders win this one, they will secure that sixth and final playoff spot. And they will take on the Thunderbirds of Mesa Community, who wrapped up the number three seed in the conference. And that game will be down in Mesa next Tuesday night. Bark, uh, Hickman gets the second, but misses the third. 47-29 now. Here's Peyton. Over to Dan Grant, who's in the ball game now for the Riders. To Peyton, to Grant. He looks for a three, doesn't take it, dishes off in the corner. To Gagnon, who laid, throws it up to Peyton, who throws it up and in. Five for Peyton. Riders by 20 once again. Coming back the other way, here's a dish underneath. A layup attempt won't go underneath by Torbert. We thought he walked, no call, and he does get the layup finally. 13 points for Torbert. Under two minutes to go, 49-31. Riders by 18. Here's the pass to Grant, stolen away. Cochise running, driving layup underneath, no good, but he's fouled. And they call an offensive foul on the play on number 32, John Branch. That's his second personal. Ninth team foul now on the Apaches. Inbounded by the Riders. McGee out front. He throws it in the lane. Yellow by having uh, lots of success going underneath. Here's a dish underneath the Peyton. No good. Knocked away. Cochise coming back the other direction. That was a nice defensive play there to knock Peyton's layup down. Here's a shot on the way, up and good. Number 10, Billy Barkwin. Five for Barkwin in the ball game. 49 to 33, Riders by 16. Grant to McGee, he's gonna throw up a three and he's gonna not get it, around and off, no good. Get so used to saying McGee for three, it's almost automatic. Cochise with the uh, one shot and out. Off the feet and retain possession now, or regain possession by Yavapai. Long pass in the corner. Green's going to throw up a three. He's going to get it. 13 for Green. 52-33. Riders by 19. 37 seconds to go. Shot clock down to 26. Underneath. Knocked away. Rebound by Gagnon. He gives it to Margie, uh, McGee. Last shot now for the Riders. McGee drives the lane, he throws it up, won't go, but he's fouled. Fouls on number 34, 
Foul on 34, John Gomez. That's his second. McGee goes to the line. Mike McGee on the season is a 73% free throw shooter. And he'll get the first one. Second one on the way and also good. 19 seconds to go in the half. We'll see if Coach Ease elects for a last shot and it looks like they're slowing things down. They just may. Clock to 10 seconds now with eight. Looking to dish inside. They can't seem to get anything with three, with two, with one. They're not going to get it off. Here's a long shot on the way short. We've played the first half. Yavapai out in front, 54 to 33 at the half. We'll have the halftime stats. And the John Williams back at Wall Raven Gymnasium getting ready to start the second half. Riders out to a big 54 to 33 lead over the Cochise Apaches. Getting halftime statistics for you now. I'm getting them added up, added up as I speak here. Crack statistician Wendell Betzilli is doing the job for me here. Scoring first for the Apaches of Cochise College, Troy Torbert leads with 13, followed by John Gomez with 9, Billy Barkwin has 5, John Branch with 2, Mark Soto with 2, and Matt Hickman with 2. Total rebounds, 23. And eight turnovers for the Yavapai. Tutti Green leads all scores with 13, followed by Marchese with 12, Mike McGee with 11, Garth Braxton with eight, Sebastian Payton five, Jason Sample with three, and Jamar Redding with two. Total rebounds, 16, and we don't have turnovers. Sebastian Payton with a three is good. Yavapai picking up right where they left off in the first half. 57-33, Riders now by 24. Here's a shot on the way, up and good by Billy Barkwin. Riders dominating the first half of the game in this big critical game for the Riders for their playoff hopes. Here's a dish to Payton for make that guard Braxton for the dunk. 59-35, Riders again by 24. Here's a three-pointer on the way, good. Billy Barkwin with a three-pointer, 59-38. If the Riders win this game, it doesn't matter what Pima does, they'll have that sixth playoff spot wrapped up, and it'll be on to Mesa in the first round of the playoffs against the Thunderbirds next Tuesday night. Here's a near steal by number 34, John Gomez, and it looks like he hurt his hand possibly. He's rubbing his hand. He might have jammed a finger trying to knock that ball away and knocked out of bounds. Yavapai retains possession. McGee out at the top of the key, drives the right side, puts it on the floor, gets it knocked away right in the hands of Tootie Green. He throws it up from about 12, no good. Rebound to Patches, and a steal by Green. Coming back the other way. And another dunk! 12 points now for Garth Braxton. 61-38. Cochise looks a little bit out of sync so far. Dish inside. Count and he's fouled. Number 44 with the basket, Troy Torbert. Fifteen points for Torbert, and he'll go to the line trying to get that third point. 
Not two minutes into the second half, 61-40, Riders by 21. Make that 61-41, Riders by 20. Cross-court pass to Tootie Green, to Braxton, dish right back to Braxton from McGee is turned away, no good. Coach, he's running the other direction. Branch with the attempted layup, no good. Knocked out of bounds. Coach, he's basketball. Coach, he's throws it in from underneath their own basket. Soto gets it in. Here's a spin move in the lane. John Gomez tries to get the shot up, no good, but there is a foul on the play. Fouls on Garth Braxton. That's his fourth foul. Second team foul. Now into the ball game. I was just going to say the question is, does Braxton stay in? And Dolph Car Carroll says no. Braxton goes out and into the game, Darren Gagnon. Gomez to the line to shoot two. First one up and good. Second one around and off, no good. Volleyball up in the air, rebound by Gagnon, and a foul. Fouls on Troy Torbert, that's his third. First team foul in the second half for the Apaches. Ball inbounds to the Riders. Marchese, they break the trap with ease to Green. Shovel step, he goes to the, to the baseline and gets it knocked away and stolen. Back the other way, Barquin. McGee gets a hand on it, pulled in in the corner by Torbert. Torbert dishes out to Branch. Three-pointer in the corner, no good. Pulled up by Barquin. Here's a dish, oh! An attempted alley-oop play won't go. Gagnon on the receiving end from Marchese. Off the rim, no good. Words of encouragement for Gagnon. That would have been a big time play for the Riders. 61-42, Riders by 19. They're having a little fun out here. 17 minutes to go, second half. Apaches back the other way, looking inside. Inside's clogged up. So far content on the perimeter. Here it is, dished inside to Torbert. He throws it up from about three, no good. Volleyballed up, rebound offensively, and thrown up back and in by Mark Soto. Four points for Soto on the ball game. Riders lead now down to 17. Here's Green the other way, dish it back out. Marchese at the top of the key. Over to McGee in the corner. He throws it up and good. Oh, make, make that Sebastian Payton. 10 points for Payton. Right back the other way, here's a layup up and in by John Gomez. 12 points for Gomez, 63-46. Marchese back the other way, lay it up, no good. Rebound underneath, Mark Soto. Coach, he's running. They need to run to get back in this game. Stepped on the baseline, out of bounds, turnover to the Riders. Off of Barkland, Gagnon throws it in underneath their own basket. I'll make that underneath Coach Cheese's basket. Into Marchese. Riders, 16 minutes from a playoff spot. Here's Tootie Green on the left wing. He drives the lane, dishes it back out. Here's a shot on the way from about 15 by Sebastian Payton, no good. Rebounded, volleyballed. Offensively, Tootie Green stripped underneath. Coach, he's running back the other direction. John Branch in the lane, goes all the way, knocked out of bounds, retained possession to Coach. He's. Fans don't like it. A chorus of boos from the crowd. Not happy, 17, and now a technical foul on Dolph Carroll. Dolph off the bench. Shooting the technical free throws will be Mark Soto. Both technical free throws are good. Riders now by 15. Six points for Soto now in the game. 
and Cochise retains possession as well. Branch with the ball out front, being guarded closely by McGee, off to Soto. Soto tries to drive past McGee. Here's a dish inside, up and in by number 40, David Doan. 63-50 now. 13-point lead. Back the other direction, 2D Green off the hands. Here's a three-point attempt on the way by McGee. Good! 14 in the game for McGee. 18 is his average. A far cry from his 35 the other night, but the Riders tonight getting balanced scoring. Here's a nice swivel pass by Marchese. Here's a dish, almost another uh, alley-oop play by Tootie Green on the other end. The basket won't go, but he gets fouled. Foul is on John Branch. That his, is his third, second team foul. And going to the line will be Tootie Green. And Green is a 70% free throw shooter on the season. He is 87 out of 124 free throws attempted coming into the game. First one is up and in. Second free throw on the way, rolls around and comes out, rebounded by Doan. Cochise back the other way, time a factor. 17 point lead for the Riders, 67-50. Here's a dish inside, up, number 34, John Gomez, but there's a foul on the play. Fouls on Darren Gagnon, that's his first. Third team foul. Going to the line will be number 44, Troy Torbert. Want to remind you, Riders finish up the regular season Friday night right here at Walraven against Pima Community. And as the score stands the way it is now with the Riders, if they hold on to win this game, uh, they will be academic as far as playoff implications for Friday night because, uh, of course, the playoffs will be wrapped up tonight. But I uh, hope you'll come out nonetheless as the Riders tune up for the playoffs. Sebastian Payton has a seat. Jamar Redding into the ball game. Free throw up and in. 67-52. Riders by 15. 14-42 to go in the game. Redding in the lane. Dish off in the corner to Green. He throws it up from 10 off the side of the rim. No good. Offensive rebound. Gagnon throws it back up and in. First two of the ball game for Darren Gagnon. Riders again out by 17. In the lane, block, but they're going to call a foul. Darren Gagnon put the block on uh, Troy Torbert, but they call a foul, and once again the fans don't like it. Getting on the officials a little bit. 300 fans in the stands, 300 officials, and only three of them are getting paid for it, folks, and those are the ones on the floor wearing the black and white stripes. So going to the line, Troy Torbert to shoot two. First one on the way and good. Other games tonight in the conference. Scottsdale is at Eastern. The big game of the night, aside from this one, is Phoenix is up in Holbrook against North and Pioneer. The winner of that game will decide the championship in the ACCAC. Both free throws are good. 69-54, Riders by 15. Reading back the other way. Here's a nice dish underneath the McGee. Land up. Count it, and he's fouled. What an athletic play by Mike McGee. Fouled in the air. Had the composure to get the shot off, count it. Beautiful play by McGee. 16th point. Into the ball game, number 34 and number 10, Billy Barquin and John Gomez coming out for Coach Ease will be number three and number 32, Mark Soto and John Branch. And into the game, Roberto Nasca. He's a 6'11", 210 freshman from Sweden. Free throw by McGee is good. 72-54. Riders by 18. Cochise back the other way. And here's a steal in the lane. McGee 
Dishes it off to Tootie Green. Back to Marchese underneath to McGee. Can't, no. Layup off the rim, no good, but another foul. And we're going to have an offensive foul. Foul on Marchese, his first of the game, 15 foul. So another turnover. And the Apaches back the other way in the lane. Throwing up from five good, number 44, Troy Torbert. 22 points for Torbert. He leads the uh, Apaches in scoring. Redding back the other direction. Out to Marchese. Over in the corner to Mike McGee. Back to Marchese. Long distance three, good! Mike McGee with an NBA three-pointer. 20, 20 points now for McGee. Underneath, Barquin, turn around, 10-footer from the baseline, no good. Offensive rebound, knocked out of the hands of Torbert, pulled in by uh, Tootie Green. Another three, short by McGee. Here's inside Torbert, he's trapped, he's wrapped up by Nasca, and they're gonna fall call a foul on Roberto Nasca. Coming into the game, for those of you who might be interested, Mike McGee is averaging 42% from three-point land. 52 out of 124 attempted coming into tonight's ball game. Foul was on Nasca, that's his first. 44 uh, Torbert will go to the line to shoot two. First one is on the way and we will roll around and go. Finishing up the games tonight in the ACCAC, Arizona Western is at Central, Glendale is at Mesa, and Pima is down at South Mountain. Second free throw on the way and that's also good. Coming into the ball game, number 30, Carl Bruss, and going out is John Gomez. Bruss is a 6'6 freshman. 75-58, Riders by 17, 12.41 to go. 12.41 from a playoff spot. Here's Jamar Redding. He draws contact as he tries to drive the lane. And the foul, I believe, is on number four. Matthew Hickman. That's his second personal, fourth team foul. Riders will inbound from the left side. Jason Sample back into the ball game for the Riders. Inside to Nasca, he throws up a little two-foot hook and goes! Roberto Nasca gets on the board. 77-58, Riders by 19. Back the other direction, the Apaches in the lane, throw up a wild shot underneath, no good. Riders running, McGee comes out to Marchese, back to McGee for the dunk! Mike McGee! 22 points for McGee and a raucous crowd goes crazy. 12 minutes to go, Riders by 21. Shot up by Barquin, good. Now here's Nasco, down two. Roberto Nasca with four points on the game. 81-60, Riders by 21. Here's Hickman drives the lane, blocked by Nasca. And a foul. <laughs> Fouls on Roberto Nasca, his second. He's been in the game a minute and a half, four points and two fouls for Nasca. Going to the line will be Matthew Hickman and he'll be shooting two. First one around and out, no good. Once again, Cochise leading the conference at 75% from the free throw line. Second one goes, 81-61. Here's Sample, down to Redding in the corner. And a foul. Foul again is on four, Matt Hickman. That's two quick ones for him, but three personals for the game. 15 foul. Into the ball game, number 34, John Gomez, and going out will be Billy Barkwin, number 10. 
Redding going to the line to shoot two free throws, and he is a 61% free throw shooter, making an even 61 out of 100 on the season. First one up and good. Riders doing a better uh, better job tonight from the free throw line than they have in their past couple of ball games. Started to snap out of their slump the other night in Scottsdale, but the two previous games before that against Phoenix and Northland, uh, to be honest with you, they were pretty horrible from the line. Both of them go. Riders by 22, 83-61. Here's a dish inside. Back out to Hickman. Three-pointer on the side. Air ball. Soto with the air ball. Redding back the other way to Marchese. He puts up a, a pump fake. He backs out to three. He's going to line it up. He's going to miss it. Underneath, yanked down underneath by Hickman. Apache's running back the other direction. From 10, another air ball. Two consecutive air balls thrown up by Coach E's. That one was by Troy Torbert. Back the other direction. Score the bucket. Jason Sample. That's five points in the game for Sample. 85-61, Riders by 24. Another steal in the lane. Everything going the Riders' way right now. Marchese, another dish underneath that was supposed to be an alley-oop. Nasca in the lane, good! Roberto Nasca, six points. Timeout, Cochise. 10.25 to go in the ball game. Yavapai enjoying their biggest lead out in front, 87-61. You're enjoying Rough Rider basketball on the Access Channel. Prescott Community Access Channel 13. The Rough Rider mascot down on the floor giving away a pizza to the most excited fan. Walking up on the other side, and boy, this place went from, from raucous to quiet in about one second. And up in the top, almost the top row on the other side, there's a fan who's gonna be eating a little bit of dinner. Fortunately for me, I had dinner before I came out, so, uh, so I'm gonna be okay here. We're getting back to action now. Riders playing well in the second half. Enjoying now a 26 point lead. Here's a dish inside and another steal. Knocked away by Jamar Redding, pulled in by Nasca. Over in the corner, here's a driving layup, goes! Garth Braxton with the bucket. 14 for Braxton, 89-61. Riders pulling away, ball out of bounds. Apaches will retain possession. Some fans are hard to please, folks, I'll tell you. Enjoying a 28-point lead, and still they're on the officials. Inbounded underneath. Here's a shot on the way up and no good. Whistle, and another foul. That shot was put up by number 30, Carl Bruss. It, it rolled around and won't go. I guess they're not going to call a foul, but they are going to give the ball back to Coach Ease. Ball dished outside to number 44, Torbert. He was trying to look inside for Bruss. Bruss wasn't expecting the pass, goes out of bounds, turnover, back to the Riders. Under 10 minutes to go now in the ball game. Riders comfortably out in front, 89-61. John Williams here at Wall Raven Gymnasium, hoping you're enjoying this one, folks. Playoff bound, Riders having things their own way. Here's Sample out at the left three-point lane. Dish inside to Nasca. Lays it up and good. Eight points for Nasca. Roberto's pretty much owning the, under, the underneath basket right now. Loves to contribute, does Roberto. Underneath, going back the other way, and here's another turnover. Peyton, over in the corner, Sample looks for three, doesn't take it. Back out to Marchese. Your rough rider's using some clock now. Marchese back to Peyton, over to Sample, back to Peyton, looks three, doesn't take it. Shot clock down to ten. Here is a three, good! 
Sebastian Payton with the tray, 94-61. 13 now for Payton. Hickman back the other way. Inside. Ooh, laid up and in. That was a good play by Mark Soto. He went around Sebastian, or went around uh, Roberto Nasca for the bucket. Marchese the other way. Shot on the way, no good, but he's foul. Foul's on Mark Soto. That's his uh, second. 16 foul. Roberto Nasca out. He gets a breather to a rousing uh, hand from the crowd. Marchese shooting two. Into the ball game. Braxton and Peyton, Marchese, Mike McGee set to come back. First one won't go. Marchese on the season is shooting 60%, almost 61% from the free throw line. Second one on the way and it won't go. Marchese gets the offensive rebound though. Pulls it back out front. Nate Scott into the ball game. Off his hands, he retrieves it. Over to Peyton. Sample looking for a pass underneath. He gets it, lays it up, no good. Gets his own rebound, and there's going to be a foul. Fouls on 33, Jonathan Keat into the game for the Apaches. Keat is a 6'3 freshman. That's his first foul, seventh team foul. Jason Sample is gonna shoot the one and one. Sample on the season, only two out of three from the line, 66%. Free throw on the way and good. Much improved from the free throw line tonight are the Riders. Second one, no good, but we have a whistle underneath. And we got a lane violation on Coach Cheese, so Sample's going to get another one. Dan Grant comes into the ball game, and out goes Garth Braxton. Sample will get the uh, penalty shot now on the lane violation, and he will convert. 95-63. 96-63, Riders by 23. Their biggest output point total on the season was the other night in Scottsdale with 113. And on this pace, they're going to break that with ease. Here's the ball knocked away, retrieved by the uh, Apaches. Here's Barquin, looks three. He does throw it up, and he gets it. 14 for Barquin on the game, 96-65. Seven and a half to go. Another whistle. Contact away from the ball. And foul is on 33, Jonathan Keat. That's his second, second quick one. Eighth team foul now on the Apaches. And going to the line will be Nate Scott. Shoots the one and one and misses it horribly off the back of the rim. Rebound sample, up no good. And pulled down in the corner by 33, Jonathan Keat. Apache's coming back the other way. Barkwin in the lane, pa or in the side, passes it off. Underneath, 34, or 30 throws it up, won't go. That was Carl Bruss, rebounded by uh, the Riders. McGee out front. Dan Grant looking for a pass in the corner. Over to Peyton. Peyton to Grant, pump fake. 10-footer on the side, no good. Rolls around, around, won't go, comes out. Barkwin with the rebound. Three-pointer on the way goes. John Gomez with the top of the key three-pointer, 96-68. 15 now for Gomez. McGee back the other way. Wide open, Sebastian Payton looks three, doesn't take it. Pass inside, stolen away. It was attempted for Nate Scott. Contact, no foul. Here's a driving layup off the glass from five by John Gomez. 96-70, Riders by 26. 
Freezer door is closing, folks. Here's the ball knocked away from Sample. Yavapai will retain possession. Sample will throw it in from out of bounds. Good effort all around tonight for the Riders as they are going to secure that sixth and final playoff spot. And it's on to Mesa next Tuesday night. Winner between Phoenix and Mesa will uh, then uh, play the, uh, will go on to Holbrook to play Northland Pioneer as Holbrook and Phoenix get first round buys in the playoffs. Foul on 22, Jeff Reed, his first. And that is the 10th team foul now. Going to the line will be Dan Grant. This one pretty much uh, has been in the bank since about halfway through the first half. Riders jumped out early and they jumped out, came out aggressively and played a, an all-around good 40 minutes, or actually 34 minutes up to this point. Into the ball game, number 40, David Doan for the Apaches. Coming back in, Tootie Green for the Riders. Going out will be Jason Sample. Dan Grant getting set to shoot free throws. Free throw, first one's up and good. First point in the ball game for uh, for Grant. Second one on the way, and it uh, rolls around and won't go. The only one, I, I'm told by uh, my crack statistician, Wendell Betsilly, that uh, the only one to sc needs to score is Nate Scott. Here's the three-pointer on the side, won't go. Long pass, can he get to it? Good save! Oh! A driving save in the corner by Dan Grant, and he hit the back wall. He's up. Great hustle on the play by Dan Grant. Hometown boy from Prescott High School, 6'3", 180 freshman guard. Here's a shot back the other way, won't go, and Grant yanks down the board for the Riders. 27-point lead for the Riders, and they're still throwing their bodies out there for everything. Mike McGee, top of the circle to Grant. Saves it once again. In the corner to Green. Looks the lane, can't get it. Back outside to Nate Scott. Is he going to get on the board? No, he dishes off underneath to, to Payton. Throws it up, puts it on the floor. No good. Volleyballed up in the air and yanked down by the Apaches. Nate Scott, the only one that needs to get on the board for the Riders. 5.05 to go, 97-70. Here's a dish underneath, up and in, John Branch. Four points for Branch on the ball game, 97-72. This one well in the icebox. Peyton out front. Long distance three by Green. Good! Tootie Green! 101-72. 17 points in the ball game for Tootie. He had uh, 25 the other night against Scottsdale. Underneath, laid up and in. John Gomez. 100. Isn't it 101? It should be 101, but the scorekeeper has 100. 98 before the three. Maybe they'll correct that. 101-74. Nate Scott in the lane. Turn around. Five-footer. Good. Nate Scott finally gets on the board, and there it is. Every rider has scored tonight. I guess, I don't know, I guess they called that a two by 2D Green, but I thought it was three from here. 102-74. Three-pointer on the way, up and good. John Branch with the three-pointer. Huh? Marquise? No. Oh, for them. Barkwin with the steal and the layup, 102-79 now. Riders back the other way. I swear you look away for one second, folks, and you miss a basket. Tootie Green drives the lane underneath. Laid up and in. Nate Scott. Back-to-back -back buckets for Scott. Four points, 104-79. 3.15 to go. Friday night, last home game. Whistle. Timeout on the play of Cochise. 
3.11 to go in the ball game. Yavapai way out in front, 104.79. You're watching Rough Rider Basketball on the Access Channel. Prescott Community Access Channel 13. The other playoffs games that are going to be going on, and that was a quick timeout, I'll tell you. The other playoff games that are going to be going on, Northland Pioneer and Phoenix with first round buys. Yavapai will be at Mason. And the other matchup, Arizona Western goes to Central for a ball game. The winner of that game plays Phoenix in the second round, and the winner of Yavapai Mesa will play Northland Pioneer in the second round at Holbrook. Here's a three-pointer on the way. Off the side, no good. Rebounded underneath by Nate Scott. Riders running. Marchese back the other direction. Here's a long-distance three-pointer put up. and Off the back iron won't go by Jason Sample. Rebounded by Cochise. 104-79. This one comfortably in the bank. 2.44 to go. Yavapai dominated from the opening gun. Here's Branch looking inside. He does dish off inside. Knocked away by Nate Scott. Out of bounds to Cochise. Nice to see everybody getting minutes tonight. And Roberto Nasca contributing greatly with eight points on the ball game. Ball tipped in. Nate Scott got a hand on it. Rebound Cochise. Shot thrown up by David Doan. We got a foul on the play on Nate Scott. That's his first. Eighth team foul. Going to the line will be David Doan. First one up and good. Hope to see you out here Friday night as the Riders finish up their regular season home schedule, regular season schedule that is, uh, against Pima Community. And now what, what is going to be uh, a game that doesn't matter much other than the final standings since the Riders are going to wrap up the sixth spot tonight in the playoffs. Doan gets one of two. Riders back the other direction. Ma Roberto Nasca back in the ball game. He gets the ball taken away from him by John Gomez. Underneath, long pass underneath to Hickman is off his hands and out of bounds. 2.08 to go. Riders 104. Cochise 81. Riders content to uh, slow it down just a little bit, probably eat a little bit of clock. Nate Scott underneath the NASCAR. I guess he wasn't expecting the pass. Goes out of bounds, but it will go off David Doan. And the Riders will retain possession. Sample looking to throw it in. He does get it into Nate Scott in the lane. Little 10-footer. Won't go. Offensive rebound off Sample's hands. Two coaches. Under two minutes to go. Oh, blocked by NASCAR. Beautiful block. And I don't think they can call a foul on that one. That was all ball. David Doan challenging Nasca. Doan 6'4", Nasca 6'11", and you can imagine who won that battle. Nasca says, the lane is mine, fella. You're not going to have it. Three in the corner. Hickman won't go, or make that Doan won't go. Rebounded underneath by Grant, and it's going to re going to be uh, Yavapai's ball. Minute and a half to go. Grant and Sample in the game. Marchese in the game for the Riders. Nate Scott and Roberto. So Dolph uh, getting the uh, getting the subs some work tonight. Nate Scott with a little turnaround. Dishes it off to Nazca. Shot up no good. Rebounds is up no good again. Roberto going for double figures. Comes up empty this time, but we do have the ball out of bounds. And they call an offensive foul on Roberto Nasca. And he says, what? Why me? Having a word with the official to no avail. And that's the ninth team foul on the Riders. Third personal on Nasca. Coach Ease will be shooting free throws. And going to the line will be number 32, John Branch. John Branch 
So Yavapai is going to break over the uh, even mark now. They're going to go to 10, uh, make that 11 and 10 in the conference and 15 and 14 overall. First free throw by Branch is up and good. Cochise now falls to 4 and 17 and 7 and 22 on the season. And they're going to finish up their regular season schedule uh, Friday night at home. Make that at Eastern Arizona. So they get the Gila Monsters to finish out the season. Inbounds underneath in the corner. Hickman dishes it off inside. Off the glass. No good by uh, Jonathan Keat. Rebounded riders back the other direction. Marchese on the right wing. Dish off to Grant. In the corner to Nate Scott. He throws it up from about 14. Won't go. Rebound Hickman underneath for Cochise. Under a minute now. Branch losing control. Dishes it off in the corner. Taken away now by Marchese. In the corner, Grant with about a 17-footer won't go. Rebounded underneath. 31 seconds to go. Here's a layup the other direction. Up and in by number 34, John Gomez. 21 for Gomez. 26 seconds to go. 104-85. Riders by 19. Count it down. Riders holding it for the last shot. Crowd giving him a little bit of a little bit of encouragement here. Sample with the ball. Under 10 seconds to go now. Inside to Nazca. Yeah, right up and in. Wave it off. Wave it off. Jamar Redding up and off the bench. We got an offensive foul on Nazca. I'll tell you what, he can't get a break, folks. Roberto Nazca with authority knocked it down, but it won't go. That's his fourth. Roberto Nazca with four personals. Four seconds to go. His attempt at double figures, it looks like, is going to come up short unless he can get down in the last four seconds before one last shot. Going to the line will be John Branch for Coaches. An all-around effort tonight for the Riders as they break the century mark for the second game in a row. Free throw is up and good by Branch. Make that, yeah, make that Gomez going to the line. It looked like Branch was going to settle in, but Gomez shoots him. Second one is up and also good. Long pass for Grant. Going to be knocked away by number 40, David Doan. One second. Ball out of bounds. Two. Question. Well, Roberto's going to throw it in, so we know he's not going to score. Into Grant. He holds the ball. There it is. There's the buzzer. And that's going to do it. The sixth and final playoff spot is in the bank. Final score, Yavapai 104, Cochise Apaches 87. Playoff bound riders win it. We'll have the final statistics, and we'll hope to get Coach Carroll out here for some post-game comments. 104-87 in favor of the riders. We'll wrap things up in just a moment. You're watching Rough Rider Basketball on the Access Channel, Prescott Community Access Channel 13. Back here at a somewhat quiet Wall Raven Gymnasium. This is probably the quietest I've heard it all night. John Williams back here. Big win for the Riders as they secure that sixth and final playoff spot with a 104 to 87 victory over the Cochise Apaches. Running down the scoring now for Cochise. First off, their leading scorer was Troy Torbert with 24 points, followed by John Gomez with 23. Billy Barkwin had 16, so they had three guys in double figures. John Branch with nine. Mark Soto with eight, David Doan with four, and rounding out the scoring for the Apaches was Matthew Hickman with a total of three. On the other side of the ball for the Rough Riders, everybody once again for the second game in a row got on the scoreboard. It was Mike McGee leading the way with 22 points, Tootie Green with 17, Garth Braxton had a total of 14 points, Sebastian Payton with 13, 
Brent Marchese with 12, five riders in double figures tonight. Roberto Nasca got on the board, made the most of his playing time with eight points. Jason Sample with seven. Nate Scott with four, as well as Jamar Redding pumped in four. Slowed tonight with an ankle injury, didn't play as much as he normally would. Darren Gagnon with two, and Dan Grant rounded off the scoring with one free throw for one point. The uh, riders out-rebounded Cochise by nine boards overall. And coming in here now is a very happy Dolph Carroll. And Coach, congratulations. You got that sixth and final playoff spot. You don't have to worry about Friday night now. Pima can come in here. And uh, you want to play with intensity, of course, but uh, the game doesn't mean nearly as much as it would have uh, if the tables would have been turned the other way. Well, that's true, John, but there's a lot of pride on the line. We dropped one down there. We thought we should have won. I think the kids are going to come out ready to play. It's sophomore night. Uh, it's a big night. It's emotional for our two sophomores and the kids. I think I think they'll be ready and mentally ready to play. They really want to beat Pima. And if we could finish off of, uh, two games above 500, then we've had a tremendous year with 10 freshmen. Absolutely. And uh, the last couple of games, we've noticed the intensity has really picked up in this Ryder squad. Coming off a couple of uh, road losses to the top two teams, Northland and Phoenix, and a pretty unimpressive showing uh, in both of those games. Turned it around at Scottsdale last Saturday, and tonight came out roaring after a three-game road trip and uh, looked good and uh, took it home. Give us your thoughts on the game, Coach. I thought it was a great game. The kids had great mental intensity, um, and I think that's something Brad and I have really been stressing last week is mental toughness and defending, and tonight we probably defended about as well as we have all year. And again, I'm not making excuses, but it's taken the freshmen this long to understand the level of intensity, the, the understanding of we got to play defense every night, every possession. And when we start doing that, we're an awful, awful tough team. And I noticed a little bit that uh, Coach E's tried to run with you a little bit uh, towards the second half. Maybe that was partly due to the fact that uh, things were getting out of hand and they needed to make up points in a hurry. Well, I think they tried to, and, and I just think it's very difficult to run with us. We, that, that's our game. That's our style. And I don't know how many fast break baskets we had tonight, but we really got out and ran. And if a team wants to run with us, then we smile and run right with them. So it's beneficial to us. You betcha. And uh, another thing that I noticed uh, watching the ball game is they like to do the uh, the backcourt trap and uh, put a lot of pressing on uh, with your inbound plays. And uh, that was killing them because uh, you would get the ball, you were breaking the trap, and uh, it was leading to easy uh, breakaway baskets or a lot of two-on-ones. Well, we've had some trouble with that early, again, due to freshmen. I think we lost a 10-point uh, a lead to, to North and here on R4 because they came out and double-teamed us and trapped us. The kids now understand what they've got to do. They know the offense. They execute it very well. When they execute and attack and are aggressive, we usually get layups or dunks, and that's what happened tonight. And there was several several dunks. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the uh, things that I saw that was most impressive to me was uh, down late in the ball game. There was probably three minutes to go in the game. You had a 27-point lead, and Dan Grant fighting for a ball on the corner saved the ball inbounds and took a header into the wall over there. And uh, you know, he, of course, he wasn't hurt, and that's fortunate. But uh, just to show the play of the people on the bench, they give their all, no matter what the score is, either direction. Oh, they're great. Uh, all the kids are great, and we, it's a thrill to be around them. They play hard. They practice hard. Again, we're up and down a little bit, but that's due to being young and under, not understanding. We get that kind of effort out of Dan every day, whether it's practice or game, and I, I'm very proud of him and the rest of the team for playing that hard tonight. Jamar Redding was a little hobbled with an ankle injury that he suffered in practice. Uh, I noticed he didn't play nearly as many minutes as he normally would. What's his status now for Friday? Well, I think tonight he showed that he can play a little bit. We'll see how the swelling is tomorrow. Uh, we didn't want to play him a lot tonight. We knew it was if we played, we'd be in control most of the night. There's just no sense getting him hurt. Uh, Brett's the same way with his wrist. We really didn't want to play him that much, but uh, we're very fortunate this year and haven't had a lot of injuries. Uh, if we can keep the bug from biting us the next two weeks, we'll be in good shape. And uh, once again, Coach, it was a it was a pleasure to call Roberto's Nasca's number uh, so early in the game. You know, it was 12 minutes or something left when he uh, saw his first uh, action tonight, and that's that's nice. He contributed with eight points, and I know he really wants to contribute badly when he gets into the ball game. Well, the big fella's done a tremendous job. He was out for five weeks with a stress fracture in his foot that put him behind everybody. He's just now beginning to get back into it. We try to spot play him try to put him in situations we hope he's going to be successful, build his confidence, and just let him play a little bit. And he's fun to watch. He's a seven-footer that, that plays hard, and he's learning how to block shots, and uh, he, he had some good things to happen to him tonight. And he definitely had the height advantage over anything that Coach he's had in the lane uh, under there, and uh, he pretty much said when he was in that he was posted up underneath there that uh, this is my territory, and uh, if I get the ball, I'm going to put it in the hole. 
Well, again, he, he's part of the future, and we've got to get him ready. He's got to bulk up and then gain 15, 20 pounds and get a little more fluent in, in what he's doing. And when he does that, he's going to be an awful good ACCAC player. Okay, looking ahead now, uh, you uh, have Pima, of course, on uh, on Friday night, but I want to jump over that game, not to uh, think that it means nothing, of course, but I want to ask you a little bit about Mesa Community. You play them now next Tuesday night in the playoffs, first round. Mesa, the number three seed uh, with the home court advantage. You had two tough games against them this year, uh, and you dropped them both. What can you tell us about the Thunderbirds? Well, first off, it's not a lock that they're in third yet. Uh, we just found out that Central beat Arizona Western at Arizona Western. Um, that that puts them one game back. Mesa has to go to Central to play. Should Central beat Mesa, that'll be a tie. Mesa will have lost to Central twice and will end up going to Central. So we're not real sure on who we're going to play yet, so we've got to kind of wait and see on Friday. And we'll have about two days to prepare and away we go. So either team is very difficult. We've at least split with Central. Uh, I don't care where we go. Kids are playing well. We're going to play as hard as we can and let the chips fall where they may. But um, we're ready for Tuesday, and that's what we're going to focus on. Okay, great. Once again, Coach, congratulations on wrapping up that sixth and final playoff spot. Uh, big win for the team tonight, and it's back to practice tomorrow, and look forward to Pima on Friday night. Should be a great game. Thanks a lot, John. Okay, Coach. Coach Dolph Carroll of the Yavapai College Rough Rider, victorious Yavapai Rough Riders tonight, 104-87. Finally, we want to tell you the Yavapai women also won their game tonight, 77-55 uh, over uh, the uh, ladies from Cochise. Their record now on the season, 17-2 and in the conference, and they are 26-3 and overall. Well, that's going to do it here from Wall Raven Gymnasium. We want to remind you again, coming up Friday night, the Riders finish out their regular season schedule against Pima Community right here at Wall Raven Gymnasium. We hope you'll come out and uh, join us for the ball game. Uh, I want to give some uh, special thanks to my people that helped me tonight. On camera tonight was Eldon Dan and Ingram Johnson, both uh, switching halves. Uh, Ingram doing the first half, and Elton did the second half. A nice job, guys. Uh, statisticians Mike Day, Jimmy Joyner, and Wendell Bitsilly uh, was feeding me points during the game, so I uh, really appreciate that. And uh, that's going to do it tonight from Wall Raven Gymnasium. Once again, Riders victorious, 104 to 87, and back here Friday night against Pima Community College. Thanks for joining us, everybody. You've been watching Yavapai College Rough Rider Basketball on the Access Channel, Prescott Community Access Channel 13. Good night, everyone.